and software. First we'll go to AutoCAD software. So switch off the grid mode and switch on the ortho mode. Now the first we're going to set the limits of the drawing. Command is uh, limits. Specify lower left corner 0, 0, upper right corner is 297,210. Then say zoom on. Then go to line command. Uh, specify first point. Select the lower left corner of the sheet and click on the first button of the mouse and drag it in the right direction. Then click on the horizontal direction and click on the first button of the mouse for the second point. And again, you move the mouse in the upward direction and click on the first button of the mouse and then go to offset take the distance as 297 and click the vertical line and offset to the left side similarly you just go to the offset take the distance as 210 and then click on the horizontal line and offset to the top side then go to zoom extends then zoom 0.7x then go to fillet between this vertical line and this horizontal line and between this vertical line and then this horizontal line and then this horizontal line and this vertical line then go to zoom window and select between these two and go to D text and here type the problem number take space for height as 4 and the rotation angle of test as 0 and uh, type the problem number 88 so here a pentagonal lamina Lamina of edge 25 mm is resting on HP with one of its sides such that the surface makes an angle an angle of 60 degree with HP the edge on which a press is inclined is inclined at 45 degrees to HP to HP draw its projections now we go for zoom previous then go to polygon then since it is a pentagon take number of sides as 5 and then go to edge so click on uh, first point of edge as select some arbitrary point and click on first button of the mouse and then specify second point of edge so here you take this distance as 25 and press enter key then go to line select this and draw a horizontal line and go to line take intersection point of this and take perpendicular to this and go to line take intersection point of this to perpendicular to this then go to line take intersection point of this to perpendicular to this then go to fillet between this line and this line between this and this now we're going to break select this line break first point f take intersection of this and type at the right and enter then go to select this pentagon and these two lines and go to ch command and select the layer and here the layer has to be created so you just go to layer command click on new and type xy and similarly click on new type views and go to layer 0 of line weight and make it 0 0.05 say ok then xy line you take 0.13 and set it to 0.13 and views on default you click and make it set it to 0.5 and say ok and then close it then go to select this pentagon and this line and this line go to ch take the layer make this as views and say close so now you click on this once you get this then go to copy select this line 
and also this line and copy specify second point of displacement select some point and click on the first button of the mouse then go to rotate or wo select this and this line and take end point of this and rotate at an angle of 60 degrees then go to line take end point of this and draw a vertical line take intersection point of this to perpendicular to this line and similarly line intersection of this to perpendicular to this and go to fillet between these two similarly line take end point as you move the cursor you can see when you take, grab the cursor here drag the cursor you are going to get the end point of the next line so here you just click on this and draw a vertical line then go to line take intersection point of this and draw perpendicular to this line similarly intersection point of this and draw a perpendicular to this line and go to fillet between these two then go to line take end point and draw a vertical line and take intersection point of this to perpendicular to this then go to fillet between these two then go to break break this line first point intersection of this at the rate so go to line take intersection of this intersection of this and intersection of this and intersection of this and intersection of this then go to break select this line first point int at the rate break first point take intersection at the rate then go to zoom window then go to select this line this line this this and all the file lengths you select and go to ch and go to layer click on views so now it has been changed to layer views then go to group type group and enter select objects you select all these five seven lines by clicking by taking the window option and then say enter so now it has become a single entity and then go to copy select this line uh, entire group and copy it to the next position then go to line draw a line from intersection point of this on this line and then go to line take intersection of this and drag this then go to rotate rotate this this point int rotation angle is 45 then go to move move this and place it wherever you want now go to line take line intersection of this to perpendicular to this then go to line take intersection of this to perpendicular to this line then go to line take intersection of this and go to line take intersection of this to perpendicular to this then go to line intersection of this to perpendicular to this then go to fillet between these two then go to line take intersection of this and go to line take intersection of this to perpendicular to this then fillet between these two then go to line take intersection of this to intersection of this to intersection of this to intersection of this to intersection of this then go to break select this first point take intersection of this at the rate similarly break first point take intersection of this and at the rate then by selecting these five lines and change the thickness of this to 0.5 because it is a view so go to layer and click on views then say close now we have this so this is how you will be able to create the drawing then go to break and select this and select this then go to move select this entire drawing and move it then go to select this line and this line and this line go to ch select now we will go for dtext command so by clicking on the first button of the mouse mark x 
and you mark this as y and you mark this as vp and you mark this as hp then here you put the caps lock off type a b c d e then type a dash then b dash then c dash then d dash then a dash so here so here a dash and go to zoom window and go to move so move this and here vertical plane hp this is y then here move a this is b this is c then this is d and this is e and go to zoom previous then go to zoom window then go to move a dash this is b dash and this is c dash then go to d dash and then e dash then go to copy take a dash and this is e dash then go to b dash then d dash then c dash then here a and here a and this is b and this is b and this is c this is c and here it is d and here it is d and copy e and here also e now we go for d text huh? so here you type a dash b dash c dash d dash and e dash go to move say a dash here b dash then go to c dash and this becomes d dash and this becomes a dash then d d, d i m modify make it zero text you take it as four align with the dimension line above and this is three symbols arrow size four then lines take to offset from the origin as three and say close then go to dim vertical select this line and take it 25 and then dim angular select between this line and this line and here it is 60 degrees and dim angular select between these two lines and this angle will be 45 then go to dim ted so you take this and keep it here so this is how you will be able to create the drawing using AutoCAD software for this particular problem and finally save it in an appropriate uh, directory and take type problem number p88 and finally save and finally you just 